Hello everybody and welcome to another YouTube video. How are you all doing today? So, as you all know, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, I uploaded the first ever video on journey to becoming a professional wrestler. Today, I decided to upload video number two. And I know it's been a while with your hair. <laughs> It's been a while since I did upload the video, but that was mainly because every time I went to do it, I kept on getting really bad anxiety because I don't like seeing my own face on camera. And um, the other day when I went to do it, it was raining pretty bad, so I obviously couldn't come up to the beach to do it. Look, beautiful beach. <laughs> Anyway, um, I also felt that I needed to get out of the house to do this one because of reasons. I, well, I say reasons. I felt like um, it would be nice for you guys to um, be able to see part of like where I am, kind of. Like, obviously, without knowing where I am exactly, but. I'm gonna take a seat here, facing a wall, lovely wall, and there are kids over there watching me. Um, so yeah, the other day I uploaded, the other day, the, a couple of weeks ago, as I said, I uploaded a video of it. I was pretty excited about starting this series, and don't get me wrong, I still am, it's just a lot of anxiety now, so, um, because I hadn't really thought it through when I first started it. So, um, as you all know, I want to become a professional wrestler, hopefully one day I will achieve that dream, hopefully I'll be going to wrestling school next year which is part of what I wanted to talk about. Um, so, uh, oh, I don't know how to say this. Um, it's not bad news or anything, it's just the words aren't coming out of my mouth. Um, I don't know if I've said this in the previous video, but I've wanted to become, well, I've wanted to be a wrestler ever since I was very young and I still do and I never had the opportunity well I wouldn't say I never had the opportunity I'd say that I didn't exactly know where to start how to start all that stuff and now that I finally do it's just really overwhelming like next year I can go to um, IPW in Swanley I have all the money for it and everything it's coming out of my own money but then the thing is, if we decide to move to where near my brother is, I will probably go to WAW, so there's the stress of like, will we be moving soon or will we be staying here so that I can go to IPW? Like, I know it's best to wait and see what happens, it's just kind of like um, hard to choose and hard to figure out what's right right now. And there's also the stress of college, like, um, well, before I start on that, I was talking to my friend about making this series, and he was like, yeah, yeah, go for it, but you do know you'll have to tell everyone the full truth, not just half of it, and not be like, oh yeah, everything's so great and easy, because obviously it's not gonna be. Um, anyway, yeah, there's the stress of college, because... <coughs> In April, I think it was, I went to, sorry about the jakiness, um, I went to the college open day and uh, I signed up for IT level 1. Now that will usually be Monday to Wednesday if I'm correct, 9 to 4. And the day before that, Sunday, sorry I just leaned forward, um, the day before that on Sunday is Sorry, I ended the video <laughs> for some reason, accidentally. Um, wrestling training, and so that's going to make Monday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday very hard because I'll be beat up from wrestling training, of course. And then 
Before that, there's the worry of will I actually get into college or will I have to find somewhere else to go to college? Uh, there's also the problem of I have a very bad knee right now. I'm not trying to make up excuses, although it does sound like I'm trying to, but I promise you I'm not. Um, I'm gonna carry on walking. Um, it sounds like I'm trying to make up excuses, but I'm not. Uh, I have a very bad knee, have done ever since the beginning of March, and so technically I shouldn't be walking down the beach doing this, because, you know. And <clears throat> medical problems wrestling-wise, uh, the problems would be, as I said, my knee, which hopefully that will heal soon though. <coughs> uh, I have asthma, which I forgot to bring my inhaler, very stupid of me, but wow, look at that sky, if you can see that. Don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, apparently I'm growing out of my asthma, but I keep on having these weird dreams where in a dream someone will be like strangling me or hugging me so tight that I can't breathe and it will just be like, uh, no, I need to breathe and then when I wake up, I will be waking up to an asthma attack which is kind of scary um, So I've talked about wrestling school next year, college, my knee, what else? Um, Finding support is very hard as well. I mean, I know I have friends and family that support me a lot, but most of the time, I don't mean to sound rude, but most of the time, it just doesn't really feel like uh, I don't know why, but yeah. Um, it's very emotional. Yeah, I can't even speak now. Very emotionally stressful already at this point, which, to be fair, I have been trying to find a wrestling school for years, to be honest. So, of course, it's going to be um, very stressful now. But really, I'm just glad that I actually got the opportunity um, to actually find somewhere to hopefully go to wrestling school and hopefully be trained by someone <laughs> like instead of just like trying to learn everything myself which obviously I won't be practicing uh, practicing the moves myself but I'll be like analyzing what they do studying how they do it like everyone that I can find <laughs> um, it's stressful already and that's one of the main reasons as well why I haven't um, been uploading videos except for yesterday which I got the new Black Ops 3 DLC 5 which you should probably check out that video if you want to um, I don't know what to say uh, hopefully it will all calm down soon and I know it probably will it's just really weird at this moment because when I was younger I never thought I'd be able to get an opportunity like this and now that the opportunity opportunities come by it's um, very hard to process what's going on right now <laughs> um, also another reason why I haven't been updating my blog uh, there's also cardio I need to sort out my cardio so bad <laughs> And my weight. I found out my weight yesterday. Yay me. Uh, I am 8 stone, which is 112 pounds. Hopefully I'll be putting on more weight soon because I'm going to be starting a kind of plan that will help me put on weight and everything. And yeah, hopefully soon that'll happen. Um, one second. Do I want that? No, I don't want torch. That just makes me look yellow, even more yellow. Um, yeah, the main reason why I wanted to do this video at the beach is because, as I said, I've been getting lots of anxiety about making this video, and the beach is very calming to me. I find it very calming. 
that's why I mainly walk up here when I'm stressed right now or to <laughs> calm down my anxiety or anything <laughs> uh, yeah uh, so now you all know what's going on right now kind of so Oh yeah, anxiety is another thing I need to sort, my social anxiety that always gets the best of me. My fears, which <laughs> is basically everything. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's a, lo uh, a lot of things which might stop me from doing the kind of wrestling that I want, which is high flying. Like, I have a fear of heights and a fear of jumping down from heights, so yay me. <laughs> um, there are mood swings that I need to sort because I have very bad mood swings. Um, so yeah, uh, anxiety, cardio, mood swings, college, which wrestling school, and my knee. You basically know what's going on now. Um, hopefully, I'll be updating my blog soon, and hopefully. It won't take much longer for me to be able to see the doctors again, and that guy, I don't know if you can see it. Huh. One second. Oh, I know why. No, I don't. Never mind. Okay, um. Either way, the sky is really pink over there. Wait. Let me try to. Oh, sorry about my hand there. Um, I'm trying to get the sky for you. It's really pretty. One second. I uh, don't know if you can see the pinkness, but the pink is so beautiful. Anyway, um, hopefully it won't take long for me to be able to sort everything out. Hopefully I will get into college and do IT level one. If I do get into college, it means we'll be here for another year, which I will be going to IPW, which is basically everything, nearly, but my knee sorted, and the anxiety which will happen, and the cardio will happen as I'm training, as the owner of IPW said to me. And yeah, um, right now, all I'm doing to actually keep my hopes up is doing upper body workouts, because doctor told me to not do anything that <coughs> could strain my knee or anything so obviously I haven't been running, I haven't been doing workouts fully, I haven't been, been doing yoga, all that stuff uh, I've been thinking about the advice that people have been giving to me the support uh, it's all very helpful and oh my god, bugs, um, very helpful and it makes me happy, so I thank you all for that, um, sorry, asthma's playing up, need water for it, um, so I'm remembering the advice from Ethan Page, which was basically like, be creative with the choices that you make, in a sense, but like, don't be like stupid with the choices that you make, like, if anything you know could get you, bye bye bug, um, if anything you know could get you injured, then don't do it, but always be like, creative and open to your uh, opportunities, stuff like that, which was basically what he said. Um, I'm remembering advice from Siren Knight, which is basically the only thing that's stopping you is yourself. I just had to turn the flashlight on because bad lighting behind me. Uh, I am remembering advice from Matt Cross, which is no excuses. But the one thing I've been wondering is when does a legit reason? turn into an excuse like how do you find the line between that how do you know when you're making excuses like is that something you have to figure out yourself or is it something that others will let you know or 
yeah either way no excuses um yeah and all my friends and everything you all know who you are i don't feel comfortable giving out your names on youtube as you know respect for you guys and your privacy or privacy however you want to say it um but yeah basically you all know what's going on now <laughs> you all know what's happening and yeah so that's the 10 minutes okay technically 11 because of the other one when I where I ended it that's the end of this video uh, hopefully one day I will be able to wrestle and I will be able to have a match against Jeff Hardy and Seth Rollins oh my god that would be amazing there's a fan, fan thing in me because I'm not necessarily a girl but I'm not a boy either I'm non-binary uh, I will probably do the next video about me so you're not just watching this random stranger be like oh hey I want to be a wrestler but you don't know anything about me can I have your support <laughs> but yeah um this is mainly um so that I can document the journey and be able to look back when I am a wrestler and be like oh my god was that really me did I really go through all that like not all that stress but was I really going through such stress of tiny little things um so yeah the next video will be kind of about me like I'm not saying these videos haven't been about me because you know but um it'll be like hobbies interests stuff like that um so yeah, if there's anything else you'd like to see in next videos, let me know and I will try my hardest to do it. I hope you all have a nice day, night, whatever time it is there for you and that is it. Peace out. <laughs> Stop.